how I organize my pen bushings and my pen tubes because whether you're just starting out or you've been doing this a while you're going to accumulate a ton of different types of bushings and tubes. Uh, initially I had just kept them all in baggies that they come in and uh, hung them on my pegboard but it just gets to be there's too much and if you're trying to spread them out you just can't see what's going on so I made a quick trip to Bass Pro Shops and I got these they call them 370 boxes and uh, what I did was I just put the dividers in and I labeled it by the type of pen or razor that would be in that slot. And as you can see, I've got quite a few different types in here. I don't want to turn it too far. Uh, quite a few different types in here and still tons of empty room. So as my uh, collection grows and my offering grows of different types, I can expand that. Uh, so that's the bushings and then nice latches to keep it closed. This was probably the one that I'm most happy with because I use it all the time is the different tubes and I filled this one up pretty much uh, I've just got this top row that I can expand on but holds a lot of tubes all the different styles and sizes are no problem uh, and the nice thing is you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of tubes because you're gonna buy extra tubes even before you buy kits sometimes because you want to try stuff or experiment with stuff uh, and that way you don't have to buy the kit you can just buy a pack of tubes and have that handy so that's how I keep my bushings and my tubes. One other thing, and I've been doing this for years, you can tell by the, the dirt level of these two, is uh, this is how I keep my, my uh, wet sandpaper and my pads. I just rode on it with a, a Sharpie, and then I cut them up into strips, label the back, and then put them in the appropriate box. But I've got it all the way from 600, 500, up to, I think, 12,000 in the, in the, soft wet dry pads so that's just how i keep this stuff separated and uh, fairly organized you can keep a lot of a lot of product and a lot of parts in a short space here uh, and then i just tuck these in a drawer and they're out of the way